since COVID-19, since the start of the pandemic, food insecurity in Vermont, just in the first few weeks of the pandemic, went up by about 33%. So that was really significant. And now about one in four people in the state of Vermont are sort of struggling to keep a reliable amount of food um, on their tables for their families. Willing Hands is a nonprofit that works in the Upper Valley and we have a three-part mission. So our first uh, and how we were founded was to reduce food waste. And we were started by um, a produce manager at the Upper Valley, the co-op food stores, the Hanover Co-op, and um, he saw all this really nutritious food being thrown out because there wasn't really a conduit for getting it to the people who could really benefit from it. So we pick up food and reduce the food waste for um, lots of stores in the Upper Valley. Um, the second thing that we do is that we provide a reliable source of this fresh, nutritious food for people who don't have access. Um, so we operate year-round, delivering this food to food shelves and other um, uh, nonprofits that serve people in need. And our, the third part of our organization is to just reduce hunger. So we're really like bringing a consistent source of food um, to these organizations that are serving people in the Upper Valley who don't have as much access to that fresh, healthy food. Willing Hands has really played a major role in responding to the need that has grown so much um, during the COVID pandemic. Um, because of people losing their jobs um, and not working, so many families are finding that their budgets have become tighter and tighter and tighter and buying fresh produce is very expensive and so it's one of the first things that people cut out who are um, having to look very carefully at how they're spending their money on food. I think we've been working with Willie Hands for maybe 10 years. Yeah, at and, least. And in the beginning it was, I don't know, 80,000 pounds or 60,000 pounds a year. This year um, we are on track, of course our uh, deliveries have increased because of COVID, but we're on track to deliver 600,000 pounds of, of nourishing produce and milk and other uh, uh, whole grain breads, all uh, produced here in the Upper Valley. And of course it takes many volunteers to make this all happen. So the volunteer crew has grown incredibly over the years. Our volunteers have really stepped up, so we started our gardens earlier this year. Um, now that we have a facility in Norwich, we've been able to have more volunteer sessions. To keep group sizes small, we've had to sort of adapt our volunteer protocol so everyone stays safe and can stay distant, but can also um, keep working to grow food for um, those in need. So we have a few different ways that we gather food that's um, surplus. Um, the grocery stores sometimes have fruits and vegetables that have been sitting on the store shelves for a while, um, but are still good. They just may not have much longer of a shelf life. So Willing Hands, our delivery and pickup trucks will go around to our to the co-op food stores. Um, they visit Upper Valley Produce, some other grocers and bakers and take the food that is close to sell-by date, but still very, um, still fresh, and deliver that to food pantries. The other surplus that we pick up is um, gleaning, like I described before, that is the food that's still in the farmer's fields, but won't be harvested and sold, so the farmers are excited to donate that so that people can um, enjoy that food um, and not have it go to waste. So what gleaning is, it's the practice of walking um, or going into the farmer's fields after the regular harvests are over and um, gathering up the fresh vegetables or fruits that are left behind. Sometimes they're left behind because it's just there's too much for the market and the farmers won't have um, the ability to sell those so they're just left behind. Sometimes they're a little misshapen or not quite as pretty and so sitting those out on the farm stand might not be as, um, they wouldn't sell as easily but they're perfectly nutritious and fresh and 
So what gleaning volunteers do with Willing Hands is we schedule sessions to go out to these partner farms who say, you know, the beet harvest is over and what's left in the fields is um, what we would like to donate to Willing Hands. So our gleaning volunteers will help us harvest those so we can get them to people who need it. Um, we, we serve the community in ways that I think everybody can really connect with. We all have really strong ties to the local farming economy. We love to buy local food and enjoy the fresh fruits and vegetables that are grown right here. But um, it's important to realize that not everybody can afford that or have reliable access to those types of foods. And so Willing Hands really connects the, the very generous farmers and donors in the Upper Valley to um, people who otherwise would not get to benefit from what's grown right here. Willing Hands is really a community in and of itself and we serve um, about a 40 mile radius around Hanover and Norwich.